Morning folks. Glad you could make it. Anyway, back on this job. So what I've decided to do before I do anything else on it is get some varnish. I've sanded it all up, give it a good fat up. So we're gonna get it a varnish now because we don't want to leave wood untreated. If you leave it untreated, it will take the atmosphere in, the moisture, etc. from the atmosphere. It will dry out quicker and everything, and then you'll get movement. And especially on the boat, you get a lot of condensation on them boats, you know. Uh, you want lots of airflow around everything. So I'm getting this, getting it all, give it a coat of varnish. It's a, a floor varnish. It's from Screw Fix. It's the Screw Fix no nonsense floor varnish, which I use a lot of. And I'll just get all a good dose of that. It'll take an hour for it to dry for that, half an hour warms up a bit. And then uh, while I'm doing that, I can be sorting some material out. Right, so it's had a couple of coats of varnish all inside. It's a water-based varnish, dries quick as hell, especially in summertime. It's not doing bad today. We've varnished all the areas that we can't get to after. And I've not done the top second coat, but in there I have. Now, next thing I need to do next is make the drawer boxes. So we're going to get two of them made. And these are both exactly the same width as that tip mill. So, got two boxes to make, 280 tall, 666 wide. That sign of summit in it, is that the devil or something? 500 deep. So, that's it. We'll use birch ply. I've got enough on this, what's left the, the sheet I made the other boxes from. There's enough there. So, I'm going to get them made now because once they're in, and then uh, you can make the drawer fronts, get the size, exact size for them, and then the front will be cut to go over the drawer front. So it's like uh, you want to start it back and work forward. I think that's the best way to do it anyway, no mistakes then. So we'll get on with that. Right, so we've got some board ripped there, two strips ripped. Um, we're reproducing what we've done these other boxes with, the two sides. We're going to route that 9mm slot out, it's 10mm up front edge there and um, a 9mm panel inside, this is 12mm, 12.5 half inch frame, 9mm bottom, strong as an ox. So we're doing that but these are 280 deep and um, Getting the maximum storage we can in there because, as I keep saying, we are short of storage you are on any boat, especially a small boat. So, you've got to make use of every space you can to store some it. So, that will give us two nice big deep cupboards there under bed, under bench. Uh, probably get bedding in there, something like that. So, that's it. We're going to do this, route this, cut them down, make them into boxes. Is done there, piece for each box that. So now um, we can make them into boxes. And our trouble with the router today was sticking, you get friction, especially in winter time. Any timber will get a little bit of moisture on the top, and you get friction there. And if you use this stuff, and it's for um, you'll put it like I did there on router bases, gives you a non friction base, and it's just like a wax. Oops. But it, you use it not just on that, you use it on the machine and here on the plane and the bench saw and anything, any steel surface or plastic surface makes it zero friction. It's a world of difference. 
you can get some sprays, they're not as good as this. And that that tub will last <laughs> two or three years at least. Yeah, you don't put a lot on and it lasts a long time and it don't mark the timber. It's not just a, a wax, it's a special wax. So I don't know how long I've had that. Probably three years. That one. So makes world of difference if you've got stuff sticking and dragging and that. It didn't help that that router cutter needs sharpening and it worked last one I got. So anyway, we're there now. So I'm going to slice these up in tip box sections and we'll have them together. Okay. So we marked up for the biscuits. I've used that bit of scrap to get the biscuit in the centre, so that's a number 10 biscuit size. So what I'm going to do is just plunge all that lot, two, four, six, eight plungers, cut the back, gating clamps, index. That's it then, that's dry run. Everything fits up, tickety boo. Oh, have a bit of glue on it then. And uh, that's first box made. So that's the first fit of those in. Still want to adjust in a bit, I'm not too worried about that at the moment. But just getting it, getting everything in and then you have to titivate it to get it all sweet. So I've got a door made, I'm just gonna take that out at clamps and we'll have a look at that. So this frame will sit something like that, covers all that opening up, but then there's another frame that's attached to the lid on this, so the, the seat, the board that goes all the way across slides out and that will dress all this up to be flush, so from there down to there it will all be flush and then the whole lot comes out and meets up with the bench on the other side making the bed. So all that lot from the top there and it comes down bottom rail and the whole lot pulls out. Anyway that's as far as I've got today and we'll call it an end for this one. So Join me next time and you can see the rest of it being done. And we'll have it in boat and, have, and we'll have a look. It's going to work fine this. You know, it's a, everything's based on sort of around the same sort of idea to do with seating and that. I have seen them, um, uh, Stephen on boat up at Marina, one at Powell's, he, he's got them. He's got these either side. He's got actuators, you press a button and the beds come together. Ah, it's smart as hell. We'll, we'll see if he'll show us one day on there. I'll ask him to show us how, he, how it's done like. Morning folks, welcome back. And here, back below decks again in workshop. So we've got these two door fronts done, other ones just gluing up. And we'll have them on there. That's next job.
Right, so the first one works fine. Now, we'll get the other one done, it's still being clamped, uh, drying up, pink clamps. Now we've got to make the frame that goes around this now. So we're going to have a timber from up here, it's going to stick up um, 10 mil above there. All the way along, round, down middle, down ends. That's it, let's get on. Right, so I've got some timber cut. That's the half inch board that's going on top. That'll be the top rail. So it's just uh, sort of 10 mil above that, just to stop cushions coming off. Bottom rail. And then we've got to cut the sides and the middle piece. So <laughs> that's what it'll end up looking like. That's not wide enough. I've got to cut that from this. So that's the idea to make the, the face will be like that. There'll be a gap here, a gap under the bottom. So these drawers come in and out without moving this face frame. So they, they fit through the face frame. So we'll get them chopped up. We'll get some timbers cut for these ends and middle and we'll have it together. Glued up. So, by the time I've been to chip shop, it's fish and chip Friday. That'll be set, and we'll have it finished. Right, when they're set up now, we've had us fish and chippies. Right, so now we need to get some timbers cut attached to this for the slides. So I'll have to go and get some out and we'll get that on. Right, so we're attaching these pieces on now. We're marked on the back where they sit and then we'll measure off and mark along. I think there's eight of them to put on. Eight. So I'm using pocket hole screws and then what I'm going to do is actually put an L bracket on it as well. So got double bubble starting to look like a bed and uh, what's it <laughs> right we'll have a few screws in So we're finished now, that's on. So we've got the masking tape handles, but drawers work alright. You've got two large drawers there. Good deep drawers, plenty of storage in them. Use every bit of storage possible here. But need to handle them here or something to pull it out. So it's a bit awkward at the moment. So you pull it out like that. And then that meets up with this bed on this side. And then you've got one long bed, full width bed at boat. You can't get it any longer, so it's a cross boat bed. Uh, it's 1.5 this, that's a king size width. And then it just slides back in, but it's a bit awkward because I can't really get hold of it, but that's it, it slides in like that. But I put a plate on here. Uh, 
the doors are there. Uh, trim that up once you've got, got pump and everything to get in there, so I'm not worried about that. So mattress will come to here, uh, and then that'll be a little mattress. So when using a single bed, your feet are down there, same on the other side. But when you want to make it into a double, then that, that mattress will stop there. And then this will pull out. And then this mattress and the one behind you and the one behind that one, they'll drop down and fill the middle up. So you've got a full width bed then. So, so as long as you can get into it, because only certain widths. So that's it. But I'm quite pleased with that. I'm very pleased with it. It seems to work all right, really. Uh, so that's it for this one. For now, we're going to get it in boat. And they're coming this weekend. Uh, somebody's coming to spray top half at boat. So that'll be good, get that, uh, some paint on that, and then we can get the windows in and the doors and everything back on. So that'll be, and seal it up then. But carrying on inside there next, uh, the pump and expansion tank and what have you in there. And start running some of the electrics and plumbing around then. But then I've also got finishing the kitchen. We've got to make the, and I'll make another cupboard. Got to uh, decided to change layout in there. Anyway, I'll show you that when we get in there. And uh, but we're going to make a little dinette, just single two-seater dinette that'll drop down and make a, a small bed. So you've got this double bed or two singles, and then you'll have a small bed up in the kitchen for like a child-sized bed, really. But uh, anyway, that's more stuff to make. Funny to do yet. <laughs> Not shower and everything to get in. Well, have you plumb it all up? Got the uh, Ebersbacker heater to install, all the engine to do yet. So, anyway, anyway, loads to do. <laughs> Forgetting what I'm doing. So, anyway, thanks everybody. We we'll appreciate your comments and uh, thanks everybody for subscribing and liking, etc. Hoping growing the channel a bit. We've got plenty more to do. So, Anyway, that's it, I'm going home. It's quarter past four on a Friday. Shouldn't be here now. Should have been gone. Anyway, I wanted to get that finished, so see you all. Ta-ra!